Hello, my peepers. Welcome to my completed pictures for July. I have quite a few. Some of them were whips that I wanted to get done this month. I did a lot of buddy colors and a lot of color alongs. So let's get started. I have here Winter Dreams by Hannah Carlson. It's postcards. And I did this page here. This was done as a buddy color with Susan. Let's see. And I used my pencils Moma Mujis. And I used a clear gel pen for the globe. And I used some gel pens in here. But yeah, this was really fun to color. And I enjoyed um, chatting with Susan. So, yep, really pretty. I'm happy with how the globe turned out. And then A Colorful Life was doing a color along for, hold on a second, I got to zoom back out, for C.L. Aldridge. So I purchased this off of her Etsy shop and I colored this and I used markers. I can't remember if, did I write on here? Nope. I can't remember offhand if I used my Kali Arts or if I used my Prismacolor markers. I didn't mark it on here. But it was all done in markers and then a little bit of um, white gel pen, but it soaked through the marker. So I do like this. I thought it was really pretty. And I had fun coloring. You know, I try to support every person that does a color along that I possibly can. So I wanted to do at least one picture. And then I finished a whip in Zumble Just Nova by Tomislav Tomic. And I was working on this page with my Lyra Rembrandts because I hadn't used them yet. And so when they came in the mail, I decided to try them out in here. And I liked them on this book. And I did use a little bit of gel pen, not much. But I liked, I really liked the Lyra Rembrandts, and I will be using them more. Then for mine and Jen's Christmas color lawn, I did a Whimsy Girls Christmas by Hannah Lynn. And I didn't, that's not the page. Oh, I didn't mark the pic. There it is. <laughs> so I did Hot Cocoa Fairy. And I used, this was also a buddy color with Alyssa. So it counted as hashtag Christmas in July 2018 that I did with Jen. And this was also a buddy color with Alyssa. And again, I used my Lyra Rembrandts and Kali Art markers. So I would use the Kali Art markers and then I would color over them with the Rembrandts. And some places I just did marker. And then the background, I used my Prismacolor New Pastels. And, um... I can't remember if it's Posca pen or white gel pen for the snowflakes. But I think she came out really, really cute. I loved that. I love doing buddy colors also. And next was Magical Jungle by Johanna Basford. And Jessica's Color and Corner. She, she pulled this page out 
and she was using, I believe she used ink tents. So I pulled out mine while I watched her color and I used my Neo 2's. I used, some, I says I used Pablo's, but I don't remember where I used the Pablo's. I don't remember using Pablo's. Well, maybe I did here. But I used mostly Neo 2's and gel pen. I used some gel pen. But I must have... I don't know where I used the Pablo's. I might have there, but I thought that was the Neo 2's. This is all Neo 2 in here. And then I used Wink of Stella to make the water kind of glittery. I don't know if you can see that. But I enjoy doing pages when I can watch someone else color because then I feel like I'm coloring along with them. So I try to do that more often. It also gives me a reason to pull out certain books I haven't touched in a while. And I finished The Rowan Tree Fairy by Christine Caron. This was a color along with Belinda of Faithful Girl 1978. It was a live color along event. She would color a certain section every week. And I we used polychromos. And I don't think I might have put in a little bit of white gel pen or maybe I just used white pencil on the berries. But yeah. I liked how she came out and for nautical neverland with Sammy and Kate I did misfits nautical coloring book it's number 11 by white stag and my sticker came out of this book too I'll find the page. Oh, there it is. It fell down. I have yelled at this cat all day. She has done nothing but get in my way all day. Come on, Pearl. Down. I've been trying to do laundry and <laughs> color. And she's so I did this. Kate was coloring this in one of her streams. I think it was her live stream. It might have been just a, a color and chat. But I decided to pull this page out too. I used different colors than she did. And this is called Something Kraken. I used Super Tips as a base coat. And then I used Prismacolors and Holbein pencils over the markers. And I used, what is this in here? This is pencil down in the water. But the sky, I did um, my Prismacolor Nude Pastels and then I would take my eraser and I erased to make the clouds and then I got out to my white gel pen and did V's for the birds. I don't know if you can see the birds. See the birds. So yeah, this was really fun to do and these cats are driving me up the wall today. Absolutely. I have had nothing but troubles with them today. I swear to God it's going to storm. I worked in Johanna's Christmas by Johanna Bassford for mine and Jen's color lawn. Plus I did Two pic the two pictures I did in here also were buddy colors. So I colored this page, it's the phonograph. And I did this with Mary Ellen. And I used my Holbein's, my gel pens, and I used metallic paint. And the metallic paint is what's in through the scroll work. 
But yeah, I really liked how these bulbs came out in the phonograph. And I liked working with the metallic paints. So this was really fun. So thank you, Mary Ellen. And then I did another buddy color. And this was also part of Christmas in July 2018. So this buddy color was with Bunny of Color Raru and Erica. I used my Pablo pencils. I used some gel pens. And then the red is Pan Pastels. Everybody's been starting to use the Pan Pastels. And I'm like, I have a few colors. I don't have many. So I thought I would just pull them out and see what I could do. And I liked how this came out. I really do. I thought that was pretty neat. So, yeah. There's that. No, I have an awful shine today. I finished a whip in Sager X Sagner by Emily Lidehall Oberg. This was started a few months ago. I started this when I got the full set of hole binds. I wanted to see how they worked in here, which I knew they would work fine. So yeah, see all that detail? I love the colors. And then I used my white gel pen. on there but the mice are adorable I liked how I did the background I was really pleased with this I even did pencil uh, for the background it's all pencil so there's nothing else used on here but pencils and then it's either in white Posca pen or the gel pen I love this I love the colors I used I'm really really happy with this and then my goal this year is to finish Phantomorphia by Kirby Rosanis. And let's see. So I have this page I finished. This is used with Cali Art markers and polychromos. And I even used pencil in the background for sky. And since the castle and the crescent is supposed to look like ice. I wanted the dragons to be like fire so that they'd be totally opposite because they're going to melt the castle. That's my interpretation. So I'm really pleased with how this came out. I like this. And I got the idea to use to, to do certain things on here by watching Dee Dee. Dee Dee likes to go through her books and just do like marker base on certain pages and then goes back in colors and I'm like yeah I like that idea so that's what I did and then I did the bat page and I love my bat I love this I do it uh, I used my Prismacolors. I hadn't been using my Prismacolors in several months. And I says, okay, it's time to pull them out. Let's see what I can do with them. And, oh my gosh. The black is... What did I... Oh, I used a black Kelly Art marker. And then I used um, my Prismacolors all through here. And then when I was all done with that, I went back over the black marker with a black glitter gel pen. So I don't know if you can see sparkly. So yeah, I'm, I love this. And then I used um, either a Posca, or it says gel pens, but I might have used Posca. I don't know if I used a Posca pen or a gel pen. I believe it's a gel pen white gel pen but I love how this came out I, <laughs> I love this page so yeah I'm pleased with that I 
ended up buying Pop Manga Mermaids and Other Sea Creatures by Camilla De Erico. I seen flip throughs of this and people coloring in it and I said, okay, I have to buy this. The paper in this is amazing. The images in this are amazing. And so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I fell in love with her. I did this as a buddy color with my beautiful friend Lisa. And I used my Tombow Erogitins. And I fell in love with this picture. The, the pencils worked really nice in here. I used the clear... Um, gel pen for the soap suds and I used some on the bubbles and I made some of my own bubbles and then the background is the Prismacolor new pastels but she is adorable and I'm I'm what I'm looking at this going how am I gonna color this and then I thought she's not a mermaid she's a sea creature because mermaids don't have fins like that so I figured she's a sea creature she's got her leg her 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 tail all up in the air and yeah what is her knees are bent and I just fell in love with this picture so I can't wait to color more in this. I hope someone does a color along out of this book because I will be in heaven. I don't plan on it, but I hope someone else does. I would really like if someone did a color along. Or even just with her because I now want to buy her first one. I don't have the original. And then for another one of hashtag Christmas in July 2018, I finished Santa's Cat by Jason Hamilton and this is the one I did and I used Sergeant Art Supremes and a little bit of a gel pen um, this looked like an ornament that's like a, one of those snow snowballs so I used a clear glitter gel pen and yeah, I liked the pencils on here, and I did not mark that. I got to mark that. <clears throat> and then I used a little bit of Posca pen on the bulbs. Let me mark that down. I used Sergeant Art Supremes. And then I was doing a buddy color with Lisa again <laughs> and our friend Nikki out of Tenderful Enchantments by Clara Markova and I finished it today. I finished it this afternoon. So we did this page here. I love this. And I used my polychromos, and the background is my Prismacolor New Pastels. And what else did I use? I used a little bit of gel pen, and my white Signal Uniball gel pen for the little dots. And then I used the clear glittery gel pen and you can't even see it for the butterfly you can't even see it ah. <laughs> I love this I am not big on eating cupcakes but if I was to eat a cupcake it would have to all be chocolate so that's why I made mine chocolate and then I just finished Intricate Ink Animals in Detail, Volume 2 by Tim Jeffs. I was, I started this buddy color today with Lori McDonald. In fact, I just sent her a picture of this and she said she's almost done. 
So I used Prismacolor markers as a base and then I also used them for some of the detail work and then I went back in with Fila pencils and did even more detail work. I think he's really cute and I have to thank Anne from A Colorful Life because without her I would have never bought these books. She did a color lawn a couple months ago with Tim Jeffs and I have always been afraid of grayscale and because of her I've gotten more confident with the grayscale. So what I did was I went on Google and this is called a Parsons Chameleon. So I looked that up on Google and looked under images just to get an idea of colors and so this is what I came up with. I think that it is adorable. So thank you Lori for doing this butter color, buddy color with me. And that is it for this month. I finished 16 pages. Can you believe it? <laughs> so yeah. You know, working three days, babysitting three days a week and having four days off. And then there was at one time we had seven days off in a row. So, it, yeah, I've had more time to color. But that is it, my peepers. Thank you so much for watching. Miss Pearl, stop. I'm telling you she's been horrible today. And it's... It's 9.30 and they usually get fed at 9 and I told them they had to wait till I made the video. So they're all kind of bothering me right now. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching this. If you like this, please click on like. If you are not subscribed, please click on that subscribe button and click on that little bell. And it will let you notify it will notify you when I put up new videos. Talk to you all later, my peepers. Bye bye.